clear out the rest of the metaverse here. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Delete. That's how it's simple. <laughs> um, let's talk about that chart here. What is this episode three or four from the metaverse three, that we've done? Three or four hundred. <laughs> yeah. Tartleverse. Yeah. Tartleverse. So uh, he gets into, he says, were you, were you to be using this toolbox of an entirely new instance with the metaverse, such as a virtual world, or looking to evolve an existing Web 2 platform? And so I want to stop there because last time we talked about Web 3, one of the big distincts in a philosophical way is Web 2 didn't give a fuck about who you are. No. Web 3 with DAOs and decentralization and stuff, it's actually considering the end user. And it's it bringing that. people. That's why it gets messy. Web 3 gets messy because when you bring people into shit, yeah, it shit gets messy when when you make a website with just Wikipedia, which is information and links. Mm -hmm. Who gives a fuck who looks at that? No one cares. Yeah, but when you have people coming in and they're writing yes. Wikipedia, or you have people voting, right now you have something interesting occurring. Mm -hmm. You have the human element now at play. It's the further you step away from centralization, you put the power back in the hands of individuals. So individuals actually have to relearn mm -hmm. how they're using the internet. Yeah, and he says you would be presented with a set of design design decisions and trade-offs at several levels of, of your stack between open, shared, or closed, gated, and propriety. <laughs> you might reasonably elect. Okay, people, I don't. People are going to lose me here. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> no, I mean like hold on, say it again. I'm you yeah. lost me. I was over here so, kicking a fucking cord because <laughs> I couldn't figure out what was going on. Yeah, several levels of your stack between open, shared, or closed, gated, and propriety. So, you know, you, you have to make these, these are decisions. These are decisions and trade-offs. Something may be decentralized. Something has to be centralized. Ethereum yeah. is centralized. And if you, if you go super sovereign, your trade-off is you're going to have to do more work. Mm -hmm. System's going to have to be far more flexible. And you have to anticipate other things that are very difficult to calculate, which because, is going to be the, the, the human action. Like a perfect, right? let's say a perfect DAO, super decentralized. Mm -hmm. And you have 250 people voting. You have to know that those 250 people voting, they're going to pick a leader. There's going to be a couple leaders out of there. Those leaders are going to have private meetings. Yeah, on Reddit. On, on Reddit and Zoom and, and, and Slack and all this shit. They're going to, they're, and then they're going to, that leader is going to try to influence votes to go his direction. So he's going to try and centralize essentially the voting process yes. on something that's decentralized. Or th there's cryptocurrencies with DAOs that is how much you own is a percentage of your vote. Well, that doesn't so, help. So, so now you have four big whales yeah. from uh, hedge fund vote. managers, and they all agree, and then they can vote. Now they're controlling this cryptocurrency. So, so it's becomes super centralized. Fucking scam again. Y y that, that's, so these are things we have to figure out. We're in the infancy stages of these things. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because it was, it was interesting because Joe Rogan's like, I need to get into NFTs, and they're like, yeah, well, anything you do is going to fucking bomb like go yeah, which fucking one, through the roof which one you gotta touch yeah yeah exactly because i need to invest in it. <laughs> and so he uh, he was like oh i need to do an nft but he goes i want to he goes he was talking to people one of the the uh guy that made like 100 million dollars in art he this guy for the last 14 years has made a piece of artwork every single day seven days a week for 14 years it's on his Instagram. It's just amazing. Amazing consistency in wow. doing this. And so you can see why Louis Vuitton works with them. And, mm -hmm. you know, and um, uh, uh, all the famous singers, Miley Cyrus and, you know, Justin Bieber and, you know, uh, everyone works with this dude. And so he was on there talking to Joe Rogan. And he was saying, and, and he's like, well, you need to make a DAO. And then in that DAO, you know, then people can vote to see what uh, not for profit. Because Joe Rogan doesn't, he's like, I, I have so much fucking money. I don't really care. Right. You know, so he's like, let's give it all to charity. And then Joe Rogan said, I can't do that because I know that people will like favor a certain thing. And then mm -hmm. if there's hundreds of millions of dollars in this NFT, people are going to make sure that it's going to these certain, that they can come in. He goes, what about, he goes, what about trolling farms and people in Kabakistan mm -hmm. and they get on there, you know, and, and, and then they're turning around and getting this fake facade, not for profit that they've created and put it on there. And then they have all the votes, you know, so. There's a lot of fucked upness to this. Well, there's just so many ways. One of the hardest things to deal with is fraud. You said hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one Remember hard... Beavis and Butthead? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the most difficult, here we go, difficult things to deal with is fraud. Mm -hmm. But here's how this works. I'll just give it for an instance of how Tartle has dealt with it. Every time someone tries to do something fraudulent on the system, 
you only train us how we can prevent you from doing that yes. in the future and others. Because it's work, whether it's, if you want to use the word bad or fraudulent, it's yeah. still, you're still having to do work. Yeah. A hacker's working. Yeah. And you've actually helped us make our system stronger yes. and refine it. So actually, thank you for trying to do something negative. We want to thank you and we want to thank Kelly Clarkson for makes us stronger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nobody is worse at singing than you and me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we should As do like a... guard all the coffee. We need to do a drunk... Yeah, look at this. This big grenade the cup. The hand grenade cup. <laughs> shout out to... Politically, we may not be there, but shout out to Black Rifle Coffee Company. <laughs> I do like the coffee cup. I do like it's it a badass lot. coffee cup and funny shirts. So okay. throw me a hand grenade right now for the metaverse. What do we got? A way to approach this is to look at the anatomy of any given instance of the metaverse as a platform and its various levels of the stack as we have outlined below. So we're going to break into like, what's anatomy? Well, it's, it's, it's like the human, structure. Yes. It's, the hum, it's how the human body works, right? Understanding that. But it's funny that... They've taken anatomy, something very physical, and they've moved it into the digital. <laughs> yes. But it's it, it, fundamentally, human beings need to have something to apply the idea to. Right. From what they're useful, what they're used to understanding, and then put it on a new concept. Mm. Helps with its adoption curve. Yeah, I don't know if, can can you throw this chart up on the screen so people can see this? Do you have it? I got it right here. Throwing it up right this black now. black one right here so we yeah, can, I want people up. to see this anatomy of a virtual world. This is really cool. Yeah. So the big outline all around is, of course, the of course is the platform. Yeah, here we go. So let's say this. We're going to use Turtle here, uh huh. Because I think we can describe Turtle uh, Turtle's metaverse here. So there's the platform. You have the user persona. Yeah. So uh, these are everything that an individual is doing defines this persona, mm -hmm. and how it's captured digitally will be put into two separate areas. Okay? Yeah, and then all of this is bridges to the physical world. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, what what is our bridge for Turtle? You share data, right? Right. The businesses that ingest the data, right? This NFT data packet, they uh, get to use that to make real world business decisions yes. that impact goods and services. And then for the person, they have the ability to take those funds and either spend it on themselves, real money, fiat money. So I move it out of the digital realm and put it into something very tangible for myself. I can buy those goods or services or... I can put it towards, like we we're talking about, not for profits, NGOs, whatever it might be, charitable organizations that have a physical, tangible benefit on plants, animals, and anything else. Right. Climate, doesn't matter what it is. So that's where those bridges occur. But if we look at this here, this this is really interesting. So if you consider uh, Tartle, it's it's an online software. Mm -hmm. So you access it with your end user hardware, which would be your cell phone or a computer or a tablet, whatever that might be. And on that, it'll have a web browser. Yes. A web browser is also a software that allows you to link in to this overall platform that we have. Right. And the Tartle platform is essentially an individual persona of every single person because you're coming in to store your data mm, securely yes. Yes. under your control. So it yes. takes in all these different things here of your persona, space, objects, right? Tell me about all the things you use, how you use them, avatars, other profiles about you, how you describe yourself in the digital world. Currency, many different fiat currencies, financial instruments, marketplaces. Oh, well, hello. Yeah, yeah. So, so <laughs> when we, you just mentioned the physical virtual, uh, virtual, physical virtual. So, so regardless of the physical world or virtual world, it's all going to merge into one anyways. Yeah. But space. Yeah. So when, when we look at space, you occupy space, I occupy space. Yeah. How do we occupy that in the metaverse? User in count. In this platform. User count. Yes. And then like you said, objects. How much bandwidth you take up? Yes. So, so. So you have a space and then you uh -huh. have the objects. The objects would be like NFT data packets. Yeah, how many data packets do you own on Turtle? Right, and then Avatar is 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 you building yourself on this metaverse. So as a as Tartle a best user. representation uh, of you and your expression of creativity. Yeah, we actually say the Avatar is a data oh, champion. Is a data champion, but even more than that, your Avatar is expressed by your work. Correct. You so, can't just like. You can't just be like, oh, I'm going to go on. I fill out one data, data pack and I'm a data champion. Yeah. No, that's not how it works. Yeah. It takes time. It mm -hmm. takes responsibility to mm -hmm. do these things. Your avatar, the value of your avatar, right, is dependent on the amount of work that you put mm -hmm. in. Yes. That's a, it's very important fundamental that needs to go in place. But now we got to look at the economics, okay? Uh, currency, financial instruments, and marketplaces. Well, Turtle's marketplace, so it already hits that right, right out of the gate. Yes. So can people with their avatars... Occupying space and having these NFT objects, which are data packets, right? Can they put that on a marketplace 
that is essentially a financial instrument. It's a it's an asset. Yes. Which can then be bought with a digital currency. Yes. Well, I can't believe how many boxes we check. <laughs> and now and now let's go to the third level, right? Of yeah, these content, in world assets. Yeah. Content, media, and data assets. That's what we do. Yes. We allow people to bring those things, put them into the system, securely store them. Any type of data asset, any type of media, they can all be in there. Check, 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 check. Okay, now, re- uh, world primitives and rules. So does he have a section describing that in here? Jamie? Yeah, he gets into he gets into e- each of these. Uh, use uh, world primitives and rules. Yeah. Uh, ha- yeah, here we go. We gotta world go primitives this. and rules. How does the world work? Yeah. The model for user identity, ownership, and reputation. The mechanics and physics of the world. Can users fly? Can they run? Mm-hmm. How fast? Can objects be stacked on top of each other? Can they be attached to buildings? Mm-hmm. Program program programmability. Yes, and agents. In what ways can elements of the world be automated? And can autonomous digital agents interact with the world? Yeah, sure. I mean, why not? They in video games, for instance, you have NPCs, non-playing characters. Yes, which are interacting with real people that mm-hmm. are playing the game, and they they abide by a certain set of rules, and your interaction with them. Is also rule based. Yeah, if you do, if you sign up for Turtle and don't fill out a data packet, you're basically a non-player. You're an NPC. <laughs> yeah. You're not a data champion. Yeah. You're not going you're the on opposite. The, you you want to. Everyone wants to be a part of the hero's journey. Yeah. You're the hero, and there's a journey to take, NPC, and it requires yeah. work. Right. So we have so many people that sign up for Turtle, and then some of them choose to f- walk that hero's journey mm-hmm. and take charge of their data and own their data and get paid for their data. And then others NPC. choose to halfway commit, sign up, and then they just don't do anything after that. It's, 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 and, and, you know, it, it's sad because it's like there's an opportunity here for you to take advantage of to change your world. And others. Yeah. And others. So, like, why wouldn't you do it? And, and, and you signing up for something mm-hmm. and then not committing to that, that's just another format of revealing who you are as a person. That's precisely. Because I guarantee you're the one that doesn't go to the gym. You're the one that, and if you don't have a gym, I see these great things on Instagram where people are out running around outside and, you know, you're, you're on a rock, mm-hmm. you rock climb, you know, I, I lift weights. Everybody's different in the way, but there's a commitment level to that. Correct. And you have a choice to make every day. Am I going to get up and am I going to do some work? Cause rock climbing's work mm-hmm. physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. All that. Am I going to put work in today to be a better person, to right. be the hero that I know that I am inside? And if you can't accomplish that, I'm sorry. You're you're a non player. <laughs> no one's gonna do it for you. You're an NPC. Yeah. But there there are mechanics of our specific system, levers that can be pulled. Mm-hmm. User identity, ownership, and reputation. Oh, come we, on. We we've got the ownership and reputation down. <laughs> <laughs> the user identity, come on. Yeah, I mean you you're coming on identifying as a real human being. Yes. Right? You're putting in certain things which show that you're a human being. Mm-hmm. And uh, you you claim ownership of your data, and the more work you put in, the more you interact in the system, yes. the better your reputation is. Mm-hmm. So you have a higher likelihood of getting more annuities for your data into the future. And then mechanics and physics. This is so interesting because that's what he's talking about: the running or the flying in the metaverse. Yeah. When when we look at it with Turtle, what, what I what I view mechanics and physics as is it: what is your ability, and how much time are you going to put into accomplish what you need to accomplish to learn yeah because as turtle grows there's going to be mass amounts of opportunities we just had a long conversation about the educational aspects of turtle correct you know like uh, you know and and hopefully the platform will grow to the point and this is your vision and my vision is that people can learn english on it um people could learn chinese on it people Mm -hmm. could learn whatever um and that people could get people could put you could be an english teacher in the philippines and want to teach english you could put data packets on there and, and other that. people and teach that and put videos on there and other people could buy your courses. Correct. Uh, your in, in NFTs, your, yes. your, your things that you've created, your work, that's you working, that's you're an expert in this. Mm-hmm. You've taught English for five, 10 years and now you're putting it out there to the world and the world can buy that and learn from you on this marketplace. How cool is that? Yeah. And that, the quality, the amount yes. of work you put in, mm-hmm. so essentially that curriculum, mm-hmm. those quizzes, whatever it might be. With define a higher amount of payment. Yeah, because I mean, and you know, we you know, I like talking about this, but when we talk about physics, the Tartle's marketplace is the infinite pendulum. Yeah, it, it's 
I mean, you look at a fulcrum, it's the leverage that you need to succeed. This is because we have, we have a global reach. Yeah. So it's the ability. It's like you, any, everyone wants to be on the first page of Google. I mean, in the sense, if, if you could, if we could put today right now Mm -hmm. for a whole 24 hours, that first page of Google, that's really simple, just says Google and search. If we could put a big turtle logo and say, sign up. How many users would we have today? And just a ridiculous <laughs> amount of people. A billion? Yeah, they go. That's in one in twenty four hours, we could yeah. have at least at least bare minimum ten million people. At a minimum, yeah. So so when, whenever you look at that, Google's giving you that that's their real estate, that's their metaverse, that's their space. That's how they define the space, right? Up here. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And so Tartle is that same thing. We are that Google that sits there that lets you have that to take your work mm-hmm. and bring it globally. It's all up to you, though. If you're a musician and you think you're a badass rapper, don't put it on SoundCloud. Put it on Tartle. Yeah, because every time someone goes to acquire it, yes. they're paying you directly for it. They're paying you directly. Why the hell are you paying some other service to take a cut? Are promoting them. Yeah, you should be the owner of yes. that thing which 100% you created. 100% ownership. Because when you post something somewhere else, they get to take ownership of it. If that song that you did goes viral and it's all over TikTok and everywhere else that's and, their, and, and their every 14 year old thinks you have the greatest song in the world yeah. guess who's going to be guess what attorney's going to be knocking on your door yeah, exactly. <laughs> no exactly they'll be like this is ours yeah. we're, we're going to make millions off this not you yeah, not, not you. on Tartle this is Tower Records Tartle Marketplace is you put a, you put a hit song it's, it goes viral Good for and you. you have millions of people that buy that data packet from you and you make millions of dollars we're going to champion you absolutely you are a fucking data champion it's so cool and you could be in Nigeria and be Doesn't matter. the best rapper in the world. I bet you there's some really cool music that comes out of Africa. Oh, 100%, bro. You That's know? where all our music. There's so much of the human element is missed because we're so bad at sharing, communicating, and actually finding what that value is. And I think when people can come in here, have their user identity, ownership, reputation, understand the mechanics of how the marketplace works, and if we put the programmability in place to make it a path of least resistance for them and just say, do the work, and as you do it, we'll refine it to make that work more seamless for you. It's going to be a win for everybody.